Bonnie Elizabeth Parker and Clyde Chestnut Barrow were an American criminal couple who travelled the United States with their gang during the Great Depression, known for their bank robberies, although they preferred to rob small stores or rural gas stations. Their exploits captured the attention of the American public during the public enemy era between 1931 and 1934, and are believed to have killed at least nine police officers and several civilians. This is the story behind the gory death of Bonnie and Clyde. They are perhaps the most romanticized pair of criminals in American history. Bonnie Parker and Clyde Barrow are often pictured as a young couple in love, carelessly bouncing from one town to the next, robbing banks and being idolized by the media before meeting their untimely death in a dramatic ambush. They started out as two young kids from Texas, Bonnie as a waitress, Clyde as a laborer. They got swept up in the dangerous excitement of the 1930s, typified by famous gangsters like John Dillinger and Babyface Nelson. They quickly made a name for themselves as their crime spree took them from Texas all the way to Minnesota over the course of two years between 1932 and 1934. And throughout their daring run, they managed to avoid being caught despite their celebrity status. Clyde was seen as a romanticized version of the rebellious gangster and Bonnie was often thought of as his innocent girlfriend chasing him for love and getting caught up in the lifestyle through no fault of her own. In November of 1933, a Dallas grand jury issued a warrant for the arrest of Bonnie and Clyde. One of the gang members, W.D. Jones, had been arrested in Dallas in September and had identified Bonnie and Clyde as the perpetrators of several crimes leading to the warrants. A few months later, another warrant was issued, this time for the murder of the man in Texas. Though Bonnie was often seen as a bystander in the Juro's crimes, the Texas murders changed that. A farmer who claimed he had witnessed the murder grossly exaggerated Bonnie's part in it, claiming that she had been the one holding the gun and that she had laughed as he died. It is believed now that Bonnie had simply been, as she always was, a bystander. However, the farmer's accounts made headlines and police in Texas offered a thousand dollar reward for the pair's bodies, not their capture. Ramping up their efforts, police nationwide spent months searching for the pair as well as an accomplice named Henry Menthon. Finally, police in Louisiana got word from the juror was on their way to Bienville Parish. Menthon had family there and the home had been designated as a safe house by Clyde in case they got separated. And indeed, during a stop in Streveport, they had. Methvin had continued to Beanville Parish solo, leaving Bonnie and Clyde to find their way alone. On the evening of May 21st, 1934, a police posse comprised of six members from Texas and Louisiana Police Departments set up an ambush on the main road to Beanville Parish. They enlisted Methvin's father, with whom Bonnie and Clyde were familiar, to wait on the side of the road as a distraction. The posse waited for Bonnie and Clyde for the entire night and the next day and night. Then, as they were nearly giving up, the duo arrived. At 9.15 a.m. on the 23rd of May, the posse got their first look at Bonnie and Clyde, speeding down the back road at 85 miles an hour in their now infamous Ford V8. Upon seeing Midthen's father parked on the side of the road, they pulled over. Then, before Bonnie and Clyde had time to exit, the police officers opened fire. Clyde was killed instantly by a shot to the head and one of the officers recounted hearing Bonnie scream as she realized he was dead. The officers emptied their entire supply of ammunition into the car, firing 130 rounds in all. After Bonnie and Clyde's death, researchers have found that they were each shot more than 50 times, even though the official coroner's report at the time said Bonnie sustained 26 wounds and Clyde 17. The undertaker reported that he had difficulty embalming the bodies due to the number of bullet holes. The scene of Bonnie and Clyde's death quickly descended into chaos with the local looters trying to get a piece of the gangsters before the coroner arrived. One man tried to cut off Clyde's ear, another took pieces of Bonnie's bloodstained dress. By the time the authorities came to remove the bodies, there was a growing crowd full of people trying to get in on the action. 
They, Bonnie and Clyde, had been quite the team in life. In death, they were unceremoniously separated. Though they had wished to be buried together, Bonnie's family wouldn't allow it. Both are buried in Dallas, Texas, but in separate cemeteries 